Okay, I wanted to lay everything out to give uh, just a brief overview of what everything is and some things you need to look out for while you're building. Um, this is obviously your camera, camera connector, wires, black is going to be your negative, red is going to be your positive, and yellow is going to be your video. This small plug is going to be plugging into this right here. This is your video transmitter. This plug right here carries power to your video transmitter. That's what the black and red wires are. Then the yellow and blue wires are taking the video from the camera to the board so that it can overlay information and then back to the video transmitter so that it can broadcast it out. Uh, this little thing right here is your antenna. It is a whip antenna. Uh, if you wind up racing in groups or flying in groups, uh, and if you experience video issues, you'll wind up probably needing to uh, trade these out for a left or a right antenna, uh, left or a right circular polarized. Um, let us know. We can definitely take care of you on that if you run across that. So again, this right here, this connector is going to go there. This connector right here is going to go there. Some things you want to pay attention to. Look at where your holes are. Because that is going to help you line up how you need to do, how you need to plug these in. You'll notice that the pins are at the top of the connector and the holes are at the top of the connector. So that is how you're going to line these up. And then you're just going to slide it in there. Obviously these are very small, um, but that is how it's seated all the way in. And that's what that's going to wind up looking like. Now this will then wind up again, look at your pins and look at your holes to see how they're going to line up. So this guy would go in here like this. Now your quad is actually assembled now. This is your flight controller. The flight controller has your ESC, your ele electronic speed controllers embedded in it. It also has the receiver embedded in it. So that's why we only have these three things right here. So this is your setup. These are the guts. Next you will mount it to the frame. Some things that you want to look at when you are getting ready to do the frame portion. This is your battery holder. You'll notice that there are four different screws here. Two are the same length. One is ever so slightly shorter. And then this is even shorter. The reasoning. The two longest ones are going to go through this as well as this and then on to here. The, be the next longest will be in the back. That's going to go in the back. And then the shortest will go in the front because it only needs to go through the one here. Uh, another thing to point out, the arrow, that's the direction that you're going to install this. So this would go on like that. Then this guy would turn around like that. And then this guy is going to go like that. And so that's basically how the setup is going to sit. All right, again, you have the two lo longest are going to be going in here. So you're going to basically set that like that. And then you're going to take your screws over here. You want this washer like this. And then you're just going to like that. Then you'll do the next one, like this guy. These things are very small. It's easy to lose them. It's easy to drop them. We should be adding, uh, we should have included a few extras. And then if you wind up needing more, we can always help you out. So that's what that's going to look like. 
okay then you can uh, you can either try to do it like this because again you're gonna have to hold these in place so you can come over here like this and just kind of push it down in like that and then take this guy and push him down on it like that And you can even go ahead and put these in, put these on. These are small little plastic uh, nuts that really are only there to uh, keep it secure, keep it together. So there you go, just like that. Now this will wind up, you can kind of route them in through like this, like that. Uh, and then this is gonna wind up going on the standoffs on either side. And then like I said, this guy, he's just gonna go through the back right there. He should just push right on through, all the way up, just like that. And then this guy, is going to go right there into that one. Now you notice that's a Phillips head. You really, it's not a big deal if you don't have a Phillips head. Because uh, all we're really doing here is keeping it from moving around. So I'm just going to thread that into place like that. And there you go. It's already set up.